The first closed beta that ran from March 23rd to April 20th has come to a close for Devil May Cry Peak of Combat, and with the end of this closed beta period came a stream from one of the members of the Peak of Combat team that provided some insights and future details. It was shared here that the next closed beta would be in May and for iOS devices. This is very exciting news as I was not able to participate in this first round which I believe was focused solely on Android devices. With that said, I certainly hope that I can make it in the next round of testing. A major announcement was that the game would be releasing in 2023 during the second half of the year and would have a PC release as well. The PC release seems to be planned to coincide with the mobile releases and will have crossplay. I'm wondering if your data is going to be linked under one account, so if you do play on mobile, you'll be able to also log in under that same username on PC and have all of your same materials and whatnot. Um, I would certainly hope so, but nothing specifically mentioned about that. Either way, this has me excited because while I'm interested to see what the mobile experience is like and I plan on having that whether it's through this beta or if I have to wait for the full release, I know my home for this game would be on PC given the option. So definitely excited for that and I think that goes for many members of the community because I think there's probably just a lot of us that feel more home on anything related to a console, anything that can be, you know, kind of played in a fashion that we're familiar with, even if it is more optimized for mobile phones. Even though that's the case, um, people shouldn't have too hard of a time adapting because it does appear that there's controller support on mobile as well, so... Either way, I don't think it's going to be treated like an afterthought. I think linking these to actual controls is probably a priority for the team and should be pretty darn smooth in the end. Another highlight for me was when they were asked about the possible addition of other DMC characters like Trish, V, or Lucia, the response was that additional characters were being developed and none seemed to be off the table, whether these developed characters are any of the ones mentioned that remains to be seen nothing was confirmed on that end but I think that opens the door in a lot of ways for us to just uh, have a lot of fun speculation on what further characters appearing in this game could be whether they're whole new characters with their own unique styles or just skins uh, it's kind of a fine line but I think the appearance from many costumes and characters throughout the game could bring a lot of joy to the players. I want to share my thoughts and speculations on what some fun additions outside of the previously mentioned uh, characters of Trish, V, and Lucia could possibly be. So first one that comes to mind is DMC Devil May Cry's Dante, Ninja Theory's Dante, as, as he may be better known as at this point. I know this is still a controversial choice to this day, but I think it's likely to happen. Uh, the game was mentioned during the stream and even asked about in the which DMC games have you played section of the sign-up survey to get into the second beta. So it's not something that they're trying to bury or ignore by any means. We also had footage long ago of an Arbiter moveset or an Axe-based moveset. Uh, probably only like a full year ago, maybe more at this point, but that was in development and I think it could be an excellent way to make Dante's addition to the game feel like a breath of fresh air and an actual good use of a slot, you know, something unique to that character that makes him feel more than just a simple skin. The stream also mentioned El Dante by name, so if our mustached hero doesn't at least make an appearance as a skin in the game with all of his voice lines set exclusively to Spanish. I think we need to riot. I think this is probably the most important pick that I could think of. Um, so that that's why this is the first one I want to talk about. El Dante for Devil May Cry Peak of Combat. Make it happen, folks. Sí. Pero llámame Dante, el exterminador de demonios. ¿A que suena bien? On the other end of that, of course, DMC Devil May Cry's Virgil. I think specifically 
Hollow Virgil from the end of the DLC would be a good look to represent this uh, character, who, let's be honest, didn't have much going on for him at that point. I think giving him a doppelganger style of play would be a good choice for this character. I also think that the fan base would get a good, if not sick chuckle, of putting the default version of Virgil in there, and I mean like the original launch version, uh, with his fedora, and I think they'd probably get a laugh, you just made his weapon a sniper rifle. Sticking with Virgil, I think having Nello Angelo would be amazing for this game. Having Virgil's corrupted original game self as a playable character would be such a treat. The character, while having some Virgil skills, is pretty distinct from him, all things considered. He has such a cool design, would add variety to the Virgil set of characters that are already in the game that I think it would be a huge miss not to include him. Like I said, he has some of his iconic moves, but has this kind of heavier uh, move set to him, so I think that would just be a great balance, and once again, just such a good design that I think it would just be a missed opportunity to not take advantage of it. I don't know where we stand on bringing bosses into the playable character game, but I think Credo would be the absolute best choice for this. Talk about a character that didn't get enough time to shine in the sun, an absolute fan favorite boss in design. I think the opportunity to play as Credo is something that we would all be excited for. His agility, fighting style, and ability to close the distance on enemies could make for some interesting gameplay opportunities as well. Uh, I think a lot of us would love a chance to finally take on the role of Credo in really any game. A glorious skin for Trish would be a lot of fun, I think. I think it's an outfit that's just absolutely so different that, once again, it might as well be another character, but I think that's just kind of a good choice that's laying right there for you. I think putting that in the game would be just kind of a good go-to choice in my mind. All right, next up is Crew Cut. <laughs> I think most of us love a Joe character and putting in our favorite soldier from Devil May Cry 5, uh, the affectionately named Crew Cut, would be something that I'm sure would have a lot of us grinning from ear to ear, just the sheer ridiculousness of it. But it's not like because they're a Joe character, they have to be completely useless, though. Guns have already been proven to be effective, so why not give Crew Cut the shot redemption that he deserves with uh, some distant military combat, lady-esque style. Not as agile, I suppose, but he, uh, he definitely de deserves uh, another shot at uh, greatness. So this is probably a far way down the road, and we should be focusing on actual DMC characters that should be getting into the game, but if there's anything we know about mobile games, especially gotchas, it's that they love cross-promotion, and they love it in the form of limited-time guest characters. So I think this is a real wild card, but not completely off the table, and at the very least fun to speculate about. I think the most feasible guest characters that could ever potentially show up would be from other Capcom properties. There's a good handful that would probably clash with the tone and aesthetic of the game, of course, but I think you could get away with a few select choices. I think one of the most obvious uh, choices that we could think of would probably be Resident Evil characters. I think a Resident Evil character with a gun-based style like Lady is not totally out of the question. This could be really any character, but I think Leon would be fun as a bit of a wink towards the well-known fact that Devil May Cry started as a Resident Evil 4 project before becoming what we know today. I think factoring in the idea of cross-promotion that got my head spinning on this would leave the door open for the character to be related to whatever their next Resident Evil project might be. Although, with it said to be releasing later this year, Leon may still be the most relevant character with RE4's remake having just launched this year. I do worry, however, about, you know, kind of bloating the roster with gun-based weapons when this is a series not exactly known for that. It's, uh, you know, obviously mixed in there. Guns have always been part of the game, but I think the hacking and slashing character action has always been more of the core focus over blast your way through with Ebony and Ivory, you know. A character that does 
fit into that type of description though would be a hunter from monster hunter another thought that kind of jumped into my mind i think this could be a great addition uh just put in a stand-in monster hunter character like they had in marvel vs. capcom infinite i think that could do just kind of wonders i think that could be really cool and break away from certain uh types of expectations for characters i suppose I think dipping into their fighting game franchises is not off the table either. I think Street Fighter characters would probably clash a bit with the uh, series itself, but I think the franchise's popularity alone and the release of Street Fighter 6 is probably going to be enough, or could be enough, to justify this and make people kind of want to even see this in. As you can tell, I'm a bit worried about this one. I think it depends on what character they pick. I think they could definitely make it work. I think something that would work a lot easier in terms of style at the very least would be if they dipped into Darkstalkers and picked a character from there. I feel with Nevin existing and Devil May Cry already, a character like Morgan isn't too far outside the realm of realism. I think, you know... They definitely have the roots there to make something like that work without seeming completely jarring or off the wall. And I think that would be a lot of fun. Speaking of clashing, potentially, I gotta throw in Mega Man. And my only argument here is Nero can get the Mega Buster in uh, DMC5. So, just think about it. That's all I'm saying. That's my entire pitch on this one. That's literally my brain's only reasoning for going. Yeah, no, this one makes sense. So those are my thoughts for who could potentially be in as at least a skin, just some sort of visual appearance, but I think having these styles is almost a character in itself. So I think that a lot of fun could be brought in by incorporating styles in some way. Uh, we already have a Royal Guard stand-in with the Imperial Guard character, so I think styles could be split into their own characters even further. Another one that I would think would be in here is the previously mentioned Arbiter. We saw there was already work done on this move set, so I doubt it's something that's just going to be left behind. Once again, I think it would be an easy choice for DMC's Dante. Uh, yeah, I think it would add some nice variety. I think we have a lot of quick uh, attacks. So having something a little more heavy hitting and kind of just make you feel like a bit of a powerhouse, I think would be a nice bit of variety into the overall moveset. Agni and Rudra is another good choice. We also have footage for this one uh, from the past, so I believe that this probably will make a appearance as well in some way. I think this is kind of a fan favorite weapon, so I think it'd be a miss to not have it in there. And along with that, I think having Cerberus in involved as well is just kind of a must, whether you're, that's the original or the King Cerberus. Uh, elemental nunchucks, you do cool overhead spin move. I love this weapon, and I would love to see it, so, you know, enough said there. Going back to splitting styles specifically, I think Gunslinger Pry needs its own one. We already have something with Royal Guard, as I said earlier, and Lady's current style pretty much reflects Gunslinger, but I think, you know, you gotta give Dante his due with it actually being one of his styles, and I have a hard time believing that it won't make an appearance at some point, and I really think it would be a good choice for Devil May Cry 2's Dante. Uh, I think this is probably the one where people remember using guns the most because you know we're shooting down infected helicopters and stuff like that but it's also just a good excuse to get that sweet jacket in here so dmc 2's dante for gunslinger i think that's my pick and gunslinger is one thing but pandora is a whole different beast with 666 alleged transformations the insanity is endless with this weapon and what you could do with it you don't even need, necessarily need to stick with what was already done but uh if you have an explosions budget i'm gonna say this is probably the weapon to spend it on 
sticking with the DMC4 kind of weapon list, I think Lucifer also deserves a shout out uh, for a unique weapon that doesn't really have a style represented right now. And, you know, the weapon that fills Dante with the desire to make sexual innuendos is not only needed on that merit alone, but it really does have its own unique gameplay flair. And I think it would be interesting to see how it translates into this game specifically. I think kind of it, it's just a little more patient of a style in some sense. You kind of, have, or, or perhaps thoughtful is the more way to think about it, but I think it'd be really cool to see how it's implemented. I think. Mentioning that, I think Cavalier needs to be in the game as well. I think, you know, the ability to split a bike and swing it around like the pair of chainsaws, uh, it's just... Uh, how can you deny it? How can you deny that's something that you want to see? Because it's something I want to see. It's something I think we deserve to see. So, I think that would be a good excuse for DMC5 Dante as well. Older Dante, I think would be super fun to see with this kind of stuff. I know I named the majority of weapons and characters in the series, but I think that just speaks to the quality of the franchise. I want to see it all pretty much. Anyway, I just hope that you're as excited for the future of this game as I am, and let me know if there's any characters, weapons, or just styles that I missed that you want to see. Anyway, I look forward to more Devil May Cry news, and I hope you do as well. Um, I'm going to be for sure staying up to date on everything Peak of Combat related and just kind of sticking by this journey for the whole ride. Um, I love Devil May Cry and I love that we're having a chance to get more of it.